Hey, it's Brickzar, and today we're going to do another vintage Lego set review. We have with us Fabu Fan. She is from the Lego movie, and she is not in the set. The set that we're going to be looking at, then, of course, is a Fabuland set. This is set 3634. It's Charlie Crow's Carry All. It is from 1980. This is a small set, 17 pieces, one Fabu figure. The Fabuland characters are animals made to look like people. This was supposed to be a transitional theme from Duplo to regular Lego sets. So it has a combination of regular Lego blocks and larger pieces. And the figures are all one piece. They're not... Um, you can't separate the legs or the arms or the head. So let's look at this set a little closer and see what you think about it. All right, first up, we'll look at the figure. And this is Charlie Crow. He is only in this set. So the arms and the legs are all attached and they do move. The head swivels. The torso can move up and down and the arms can go up and down. There's no other joints though, just the, um, you, can do, you can move one leg at a time. But um, that's your full range of movement. And I, th I think it was kind of a safety thing. Um, so the kids couldn't eat the figures or whatever. Because, you know, who wouldn't want to eat a crow, I guess? Eat crow, huh? So that's Charlie Crow. He only appears in this set. Now, Fabu Fan, she apparently loves these vintage sets. They have the vintage car base that's almost... When I say vintage, I mean... I mean, this is probably like from the 30s or something. The style and with the grill. And it's just an old pickup truck for carrying garbage. It's one of my favorite little Fabuland sets just because it's got the garbage can and the, the broom and the shovel. So this guy's a little um, kind of like a maintenance worker or cleaner or just a garbage man type thing. And I like that. So it's pretty neat. I do like the garbage can. I like it so much I can fit inside of it. Look at that. A minifigure can hide in the garbage can. Let's look at uh, some of the pieces. Alright, we're going to look at some of the parts you get with this set. Even though it doesn't have that many parts, this is a lot better than like the Junior sets. Even though this is for the same age group as the Juniors. Uh, I, I, I like some of the elements you get with this. and. My favorite element, of course, is the garbage can. Look how big it is. And this is the only set that you get this green garbage can and lid. So that's pretty cool. It's also the only set you get this red canopy. And you get this little sandbox type thing there. And you got the, um, the grill. That was in about three sets. And this is the only set that has Charlie. So some pretty... Uh, unique elements which makes the Fabuland sets uh, interesting and of course um, you can almost tell sometimes when you got a lot that has Fabuland because of the, the canopies or the doors or these uh, vintage style grills. So Charlie he can hold the broom or the shovel in his hands but he doesn't have a, like I said before a wide range of motion. That is even for the Fabuland character that's a gigantic garbage can. It's uh, just humongous. The truck, the bed doesn't tilt or anything. It's just, it's a real simple build. And I like the way the instructions are designed. They're designed to kind of just show the character building it. It's kind of like a uh, Mad About Lego video, except it's just printed. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So it just kind of shows Charlie Crow building his car step by step. So that's what it do. That's what he does there. And sometimes they, they'll have a little story that tells you what Fabuland is about. And see, Charlie Crow has an important job. He makes sure the streets in Fabuland are clean. He sweeps the sidewalks and picks up the garbage. He places the trash in his truck and then drives it out of town. Then dumps it on the side of the road. Oh, wait a minute. No, that's what they do down here. So, 1980. So, that's a pretty neat little set. 
like I said before, it's one of my favorite of the small Fabuland sets just because it's got the giant green garbage can that you can't get in any other set. So there you have it, a vintage Fabuland set, set 3634. So we're going to be reviewing some more Fabuland sets as we get them. We have a few already and I got some more on the way and uh, I think these are neat sets. They are so much better in my opinion than the junior sets and this is in that same category or age as the junior sets but these are a lot cooler i think tell me what you think do you like the junior sets even the junior superhero sets that are coming out or the ones they used to have with the larger figures or would you rather see this fabuland stuff here anyway thank you for watching this video please hit the like button please comment and please subscribe if you're not already subscribed thanks for watching